sort of a negative note, it's more for awareness. There's a killer out there, and we need to be aware of it. And it's not a person that might be at lurking outside your house, waiting to steal your money or your possessions, or even harm you. What I'm talking about is a food additive that's in most of our food. It's noted as causing 50,000 deaths in America a year. It's noted as one of the worst ingredients in our food. It's linked with coronary artery disease, heart disease, strokes, obesity, type 2 diabetes, and it actually reprograms our cells. It sounds pretty horrific. Does anybody know which ingredient I'm talking about? Salt. It's not salt. Sugar. 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 It's actually partially hydrogenated oils, otherwise known as trans fatty acids or trans fats for short. Studies have shown that our diet contains, that we get from the supermarket, contains about 40% partially hydrogenated oils. And it's said that if you eat a large quantity of trans fats, that you have a 50% increase or better chance of getting cancer and heart disease than somebody who does not. It's also noted that women who increase their calorie intake for trans fats by 2% increase their chance of coronary risk by 93%, 2%, 93%, it's huge. The FDA has said that if the United States were to eliminate trans fats from people's diets, that the United States would realize a $1.8 billion in health fees. You think about that, $1.8 billion a year, that's billion with a B. That's a lot of money. And so the, the Institute of Medicine has said that there are no safe amounts that we can have in our diet. But the healthiest of people eat typically about two to three grams of trans fats a day. And just to give you an idea that donuts have four grams. So you've already, you know, your allotment for the day is over. Fries, a small bag of fries, two and a half grams. If you went for that big breakfast at the leading fast food chain, you're talking 11 grams of trans fats and, and other fats as well. It's pretty, it's pretty horrific. So why or how did it end up in our food chain and when? Well, back in the 1900s, they were looking for a substitute for animal fat. And they developed a process called hydrogenation. And it's a process by which they take an unsaturated fat, they raise it to a temperature, and they bombard it with hydrogen atoms. And it creates a man-made saturated fat, the deadliest of fats. So from that, they put it in everything. It was, it was a hit because it was cheaper, it made the food taste better, it made it crisper, and even better, it increased the shelf life of the food. It seemed like a win, 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 win all the way around, and it went into all the food. It started out in Crisco, and everybody knows what Crisco is, <coughs> but it ended up in everything. Over the years, we have seen a correlation between the intake of that you know, ingredient and heart disease, stroke. And what, what they found was that this partially hydrogenated oils increases the bad cholesterol, the LDLs, and it decreases the good cholesterol, the HGL, the HDLs, and it also reprograms the cells. It's just, it's, it's horrendous. Why it ended up in, in our, uh, you know, in, in with our ingredients. So, where can we find partially hydrogenated oils? Well, you can find them in just about anything. You know, it's in cookies, cake, pies, it's in popcorn, it's in peanut butter, it's in just about everything, you know, and, and this is, I'm bringing this to your attention because it was, it was important to me to find out, and, and 
I pride myself that I, I read labels. You know, one of the challenges that we have is being able to eat healthy when the food chain that we have is not. But there's ways around that. There are solutions. And one of them, for me, was to stay away or minimize my intake of the fast foods that are out there. Because the fast food chains are not really concerned about our health. I am. And so I read what they do and I eat where I know we're going to get good food. Uh, the second is to read labels. You know, a lot of times you'll see stuff that says zero trans fats on it, but that's not the case all the time. Because the FDA will allow uh, a, a manufacturer to put le up to 0.5 grams of trans fat in the product and it's still considered to be free of trans fats. Mm -hmm. So read your ingredients because that if you see partially hydrogenated oils or you see shortening, you know that it's got it in there. So read your labels and go to health food stores. My daughter, when we go to the regular stores, I'm reading the labels. I, my, half my time is reading labels. My daughter rolls her eyes and says, come on, Dad, let's get going. But uh, if you go to the health food stores like uh, Earth Fair and uh, Whole, Whole Foods, they read the labels so you don't have to. So closing, every time we eat, we're voting on the food that we, we want. And if you don't like a product because it has a certain ingredient in it, you're voting when you don't eat it. And what will happen is that it changes the industry. The industry will produce what you want. So vote what you want by what you eat. And research it. Like books, I just went to the library and picked these books up. Plenty of uh, information and there's a website. It's called bantransfats.com. It's got everything on there. And they were the leaders in getting the big fast food chains to change. Even Walmart is changing. So I hope that you become aware and that you take action to stop a killer. Mr. Toastmaster.